How's it going guys, it's your review here and it's time for episode number 3 of my Meikle Peters Pedersen Live the Life series and we're off in our first year. A uh, pretty slow start compared to our uh, rookie season where we basically tore up the league at the start. We haven't been doing too well except for that hat trick. Uh, our standings, Edmonton not looking too good but they're not too far off from the lead in the division so that's fine and we're going to go into this game. And in that, this game, we're going to be playing against the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, so they're 4-4. Four and four. We're going to play, simulate up to this day. And we're going to play the third period like we do in each thing. I'm going to try to get three games in, three periods. But uh, the simming in between might take a while. So if you guys, uh, I'm going to, I want to see how I do basically in terms of the games. So that's why I'm going to sim. But I guess I could sim all the periods quickly and uh, see if we can if if uh, Pedersen gets any goals but anyways here game against Montreal don't want to hit play my bad but anyways you can take a look Edmonton Oilers are a pretty good team on paper but what they need to do is start winning games because they're four and five and they are they're on a four game losing streak and we could see we'll see after one it's two to one and goals by Mikko Pedersen there you go and nail Akpov. second period still two one so we're going to intervene and we're going to see if we can hold on in this game uh, Edmonton Oilers here. Miko Pedersen on the second line now ahead of uh, Nugent Hopkins. He actually went up to 86 overall. So that's nice to see. And he might be on that first line sooner rather than later. Anyways, he's first on the power play line too. But Nugent Hopkins looked like he was up there. Just to show you guys. Uh, superstar right there. And we're going to continue on into this game. And see if we could solidify our lead. And maybe get a couple goals for Miko Pedersen. He's got one goal already in this game. A couple assists wouldn't hurt for uh to help out his team here and win this game we're gonna see whether we can do that or not so i'm a, I'm a little pumped right now because i just recorded my be a gm mode and uh if you guys are watching it you'll understand why what we're gonna see here loading takes a little bit of a while but i mean miko Pedersen started off first episode and eh, got that one hat trick but other than that not really uh not really playing too well and uh maybe it's that new number uh, he agreed to give it back to Nuge after the f after uh, a lot of you guys basically were like, why is he having Nuge's number? I basically gave it back to him and took 91 instead. But uh, hopefully he either gets traded or Nuge gets uh, traded and then we'll end up getting his number back. But anyways, we're back here. I don't like how the screen kind of changes. It takes a while and uh, makes something happen out there. Big hit there. Let's get a big hit here on George's. Oh, just missed him. P.K. Subban. Oh, um, that, that might be a fi f uh, fighting partner right there. Anyways, Pus gets a chance in front. Galchenyuk, Briere. Let's get lay a hit on him. Can't do it there. Goes Subban. Oh, Dubnik. Devin Dubnik with a nice save. Nick Schultz. Come on, buddy. You got to get that puck out. Pus. Oh, another nice save by Dubnik. We got to get do something here. And another nice save. Come on, boys. We got to get that puck out. P.K. Subban. Oh, shit. Dubnik, nice save. Cover that up. And so Pedersen's line basically not able to do anything on defense there. And we're back on the bench. So a pretty, uh, pretty crappy shift right there. Can't even get in the offensive zone. And we'll see if our second shift, maybe we could join the rush. Or uh, get back in the offensive zone. We're a couple uh, seconds out here on the line change. And Haley Akapov gives it up. And we're just going to dump it in. Hopefully we can hold on here. Diaz going to try to occupy the center. Big hit. Oh, missed the hip check. All right, boys. Big hit here. There we go. Oh, oh, and a fight. So we end up laying on one of their players, and it's White coming into fight here. Oh god. Ah, right, this is not gonna go well. Come on, boys. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna get smoked here. I guess superstar fights are hard. Oh, he's got me. He's got me. We need to dodge one. We need to dodge one. And pull him down. Oh god. Oh god. We just got knocked the fuck out. So a uh, big hit by Miko Pedersen, he's going to take a two minute penalty there and a fight lost. So uh, he hasn't, I don't think I've won a fight yet, but look at that hit. Who was that on? Prust, I think? A uh, little, little, uh, he deserves it if, <laughs> if anything. Prust actually is probably my least like player. I mean, I know a lot of you Habs fans like him. That's why I like Colton Orr. A lot of people, I know a bunch of Habs fans don't like guys like Colton Orr and Kadri. But I, I hate guys like Gallagher and Prust, you know. And we're going to end up... <laughs> sitting the rest of the game on the bench so uh, I guess I'll be able to play another period there but uh, we got the W and another goal here to make it 3-1 to one. it doesn't really we kind of really care about the pucks but uh yeah so three stars I guess let's take a look at box score because we know Patterson probably won't be on three stars yep and home's away stats on the road we gotta win and Patterson 12 minutes 
one goal, 20 minute, 20 penalty minutes. I'm guessing, oh, that might have been a, a major there. I guess that was a major. Hopefully, we don't get suspended. I don't know if that happens, but if we get suspended for the next game, that's not a good thing to see. Because we're up against the Capitals. We'll, I guess we'll uh, sim two or three and see who uh, who's an interesting to play team to play against. I want to end up playing every team, but uh, we'll take our time if we don't. So simming is taking quite a bit of time here, but anyways, there you go. <laughs> Twenty penalty minutes, and I still haven't won a fight. I mean, NHL 13. I feel like I was a better fighter. May might just be because I'm fighting a superstar. But uh, Ladislaw Smith is out, so that's fine. I really don't care because it's all about Michael Pedersen and the win, three to one. He gets a goal on the road. So either the Capitals, if we sim these two games, it's the Capitals, Coyotes, and we're gonna be playing against LA. I kind of want to play Toronto again. We're at home, but I guess we'll skip the Toronto game and we'll play Detroit as well. So we're gonna go to the LA game, and we're on. We'll be in on the road in Cal California, and see. Whoop! No, 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 no! Stop! Ah, uh, CC. I forgot about to like go into the sim. But we're gonna lose that one five to one. So I guess it doesn't really matter. And so now against the Coyotes on the road. And is this an interview? Yes. It's actually, no off ice event. Your coach, a tactician, and a real button pusher has decided to schedule an optional practice. Though he says it's optional, you know he's looking for everyone to attend. What do you do? Go because you want to better yourself, ditch pra practice, and hit your favorite breakfast, diner, bacon, and eggs that you want. Oh, bacon's very tempting for Miko Pedersen, but go because you want the coach to see that you are dedicated. Choose not to go and try to convince your teammates not to attend as well. Uh, I'll go because I want the coach to see that I am dedicated and I deserve that first line spot. What is going to happen? The team thinks that it's great that you show up to an optional skate and respect you even more. Nice. So teammate goes up and management goes up. So nice. The coach looks looks like I'm uh, Dallas Eakins. I guess he's starting to like me a little bit more. Anyways, we're just going to go sim this game quickly. First period, uh, no goals for us. Second period, we're going to go down 2-1 and we're going to lose that game 4-1. to So... Even though Edmonton looks like a very, very good team on paper, they are definitely not that team right now to start the season. I think our record is 5-7 and seven at this point. But uh, hopefully I can start getting a little bit more chances here in the third periods with uh, Mikko Pedersen. Uh, I'm guessing he's going through a sophomore slump to start off this season. But uh, yeah, let's take a look here. If we could get a goal, we could uh, boost up our guy and uh, add some uh, attribute points to him. So that's three games out of the nine so far in this episode. We're going to see if we could continue that. Oh, I thought that was an inter in, uh, interview. Petri is, uh, is back, so we're going to sim this game up to the third period, and we'll see if we can get right now 1 nothing down. Lewis gets the goal. It's 3 nothing down, so time for a comeback, boys. Let's go here against the LA Kings. I'm guessing our backup is in that because there was a four star. Uh, goalie. Yeah, yeah, LaBarber is in, this, in for this game. But, uh,. See if we can make some magic happen. Gagne drops it 82. How did that happen? Uh, as you can see, Superstar again. Just showing you guys because a lot of people doubted me in uh, NHL 13. you got to admit that the, the computers were pretty bad. So uh, a little bit harder in this uh, NHL 14. But if we could stay out of the box, I mean, we got our chances. That last game against the... Which team were we facing? I completely forgot. Montreal. So <laughs> basically got a match a game misconduct. So hopefully we could turn that around and get a win here at the LA Kings. I know we're down three nothing, but I mean Miko Pedersen can make magic as she showed last year, but so far he started off pretty bad. La was 0-2, but I guess we gotta put him in rest Dubnik for a couple games. Uh, so we're gonna sim again sim past it. We're three and seven in our last ten games, so uh, we had a good good first couple games. I think we went four and one, and now we've lost a bunch. And so we're gonna get on here with uh, about 50 seconds into the third period here, and we'll see if we can make some magic happen. Peron and Yakubov are on here. Come on, get it down low. Get it down low. Try. Right. Peron, come on. Nice try. Nice try. All right, we're gonna set up here. Try and get the clapper. Come on, Yakubov, you got me. Oh shit. Good try there. All right, let's hustle back on D here. Come on, Pedersen, you're fast. Big hit. Big hit. Aw, oh, damn it. Bad pass by Carter there. Our uh, endurance could uh, use some work. Hopefully, I'll probably try upgrading that. Big hit on Regeer. No. That didn't work. But anyways, I think they're calling. Yeah, they're calling for a line change. But right here, I'm just going to wait till uh, we could break out. Or uh, see if we can hold on here in the slot. Watch number 12. Or go for the big hit. 
Man, LA's doing... Oh, God, I left him wide open there, but that was also the defense's fault. Come on. We need to get the puck off here. This is happening way too often. And Pedersen is just dead tired at this point. The wingers are just kind of waiting around. I mean, they kind of help in down low. And, uh, yeah, we need to get on a line, line change here. All right, so not, nothing. we couldn't do anything there. Didn't really get the puck. Uh, LA pretty much dominating at this point. And we'll see on this line change. If you could get anything going here, we're going to be uh, going into the game when they have a brilliant scoring chance, I believe. Uh, Barbara, Barbara holds on to it. I'll give it up to Yakupov. Back to Peron. I'm coming in, Peron. I'm coming in. Give me the clapper. Rebound! Oh, Jesus, so close. What a chance. We just couldn't put it in the back of the net. Come on, quick. Drop the puck. Oh, uh, what a chance for Miko Patterson. Golden opportunity on the rebound. I guess I could have went to my back end and we're back on the bench. Anyways, we had a chance there. We could have put it away. We didn't. We just missed the side. And then I guess we couldn't uh, get a one-timer. I was kind of holding L2 and up to uh, get the clapper off. But we're going to start this uh, off face off in the middle. And see if we could uh, get one back early. We need one back in the next couple of minutes. Guessing uh, before the 10-minute mark. Let's try and move here. Through the legs. And <laughs> we get laid out. But we're going to draw a penalty. Peron. Up here. Pedersen. Boom. What a snipe. Wipe the stick. Wipe the stick. There we go. 3-1, to one. what a snipe by Miko Pedersen, and uh, so he calls for the puck from Perron, and just a shot, did he go down on his knee, I don't think so, but he's a big clapper there, yep, right past quick, and that's going to make it 3-1, to one. so nice early goal there, we're back on the bench, but good to see that we're putting the puck in the net, and against an LA team, that's not too bad defensively, that's good to see. Alright boys, just hold on here, no goals let in, that's good, we're going to go back out on this shift, and... Let's lay a big hit here on Car on Richards. Oh, couldn't get him down. Is that Mason Raymond playing on the LA Kings? Oh, I forgot to update the rosters. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, Yakubov over to Perron. Perron, call for it. Snipe. Oh, good try, good try. Behind the net, behind the net. There you go. Out front. I was looking for Yakubov there. Hit on Richards. No, can't get him knocked down. But we're going to try to hit it, lay a hit on Mason, Mason Raymond here. Oh, kind of got him from the side there. He went flying, though. Perron, you got me. You got me, Perron. Yakupov. Why did you go on an angle? But whatever, good chance there. Uh, let's go back off on the line change. Get some fresh legs in there. Get us, uh, get us, uh, get our uh, energy back for our next shift, which comes pretty soon. So the team sees that we're kind of getting chances. We're getting chances here, and we just scored. So let's get another one. Okay, so you want me to do everything? I'm fine with that, Dallas. Dallas Eakins. All right, so we can't get a hit here, but we're gonna come back. Nice poke, nice poke, Mikel. Call for it. You're going all the way. All the way, boys. Come on. Get out of my way, defender. There we go. What a move. What a move. Oh, tries to force it in. Come on. Ah, oh, nice save by Quick. Kind of tried to force it in there. I guess I could have went around, tried to wrap around around the net, but... La Barbara, hold on here, boys. Come on. Brown. Oh, God. That was close. I don't know what the other defenseman was doing there. Got to get that puck back. Ferenc, you got me along the boards. Richards, big hit. Yeah, sit down, Mike. Oh, La Barbara, you almost screwed that up terribly. Uh, eight minutes left. We're going to go back on the bench. We need one more at least. Uh, try to make this a game, but I mean, we can't do everything. We need uh, the computers to get a goal here. They can't get one. So, 3 to 1, 728 left. Carter, we're back out against their first line, I'm guessing. Big hit on Jeff Carter. What a hit. Come on, we need someone to replicate that. There, guys. Nice speed there by Akapov. Come on, we gotta get that puck out, boys. Stop fooling around. Fisher, you got me right in front. Peron, Peron, you got me up front. There we go. One touch deek. One touch deek. Oh, damn it. Yakupov, put it away. Oh, across the net. Good chance there. Nice hit on Raymond. Justin Je Schultz. Oh, I mean, Justin Schultz. Sorry about that. Keep uh, keep messing up the Schultz names, but Carter here. Hip check. Oh, <laughs> we almost laid him out. Kopitar there. A chance. Nice poke. Miko Pedersen. Let's hit green. Can't lay him out. La Barbara, stay. <laughs> nice save, nice save. All right, we're going to call for it. We're going to give it to Taylor Hall, and he's offside. So I guess we're back on the bench. 618 left to go. See if we can uh, get something going here. We need two goals, boys. We can tie this up and send it to overtime, but we're not getting the chances. You see, I mean, I could be a puck hog and try to get a goal. Try to get a goal because, I mean, computers are kind of eh. I mean, in this game, best word to put it. But uh, we're going to try laying out here. Whoever gets the puck and brings it in. Dustin Brown. Sit down. Nope. Still has the puck. Someone help me out here. 
Smeed, Smeed, you got you gotta give that up. Barbara, I don't care. Calling for it. Let's go. Peron over to Yakubov. Come on, Yakubov, make some magic happen. You got me behind you. You got me. You got me. Oh snap. Alright. We gotta try to get it off uh get the puck back here. Kopitar Williams. Man, LA's passing is great. My team goes off my line mates go off on a line change. I'm staying out here. We need to get a goal. But we need to get the puck first. They're kind of coming on line change. LaBarba, you got to hold on to that, boy. Here, Hall. We're going to call for it and just wire clapper. Oh, crap. We almost heard, uh, who was that, Richards? All right. Back down low. We'll keep on. Hold on to it. Hall. Oh, what a chance. Pedersen. Oh, Johnny Quick. Oh, my goodness. What a save by Jonathan Quick there. Call for it. Nice try. Who was that? I think that was uh, Nuge. No. Everly, Everly. Uh, all right. So, our guy's... Brutally tired. We gotta go on a line change because we double shifted there. But uh, close chances. We tried feeding it over to Hall and Everly, but they couldn't get anything done. Let's get well, at least one shift out there once again, and we're gonna get off, get on on a power play here. 126 remaining. We gotta get one goal quickly here. We're gonna try winning this face off to Hall and uh, see if he can snipe it in here. Hall, come on! Nice try. Plan worked, but didn't go in. Nice block, Taylor. All right, let's keep it in there. Hall, you got me. You got me. All right, who's open? Let's go to Pedersen's office. Pedersen's office, snipe. Oh, put it in. Nuge had such a good chance there. Hall, put it in. Yes, Taylor Hall with a goal, and that makes it 3-2. Nice job there. We have a minute, about a minute left to get another one. Come on, coach. You got to put me on, put me out there. I'm creating plays here. So Hall gets the goal there. Uh, we got the first one, and come on, coach. You got to put me out there for one more shift. Oh, and they doesn't put me out there, and we're going to lose this game 3-2. We almost come back. Almost. I mean, maybe if they put me out there, I could have got another one, but... Oh, well, 3-2 loss. I guess we'll take it. And uh, just take a look at the three stars, because I'm guessing we might have been up there with the second star. No. <laughs> too much to ask. But, uh... LeBarbera didn't do too bad, but we just weren't able to get it past Johnny Quick. And so with that, we're going to drop another one, another close decision. I mean, we lost a couple of blowouts, but it was close enough. I guess we'll sim this game against Toronto. We'll play games against against Detroit, and we'll sim the uh, Florida games uh, with Tampa and Florida. And that will probably wrap up this episode. So I think uh, playing three games would be good. Maybe if I get a game of Skonic in each, would be, wouldn't be too bad. But So we'll sim. Still can't get that. Uh, I think it was goals or... Andrew Ferentz is out with injury. All right, so our captain's down. And uh, so another loss here. We're 5-8 and eight so far this year. Not not good to see at all. Uh, I want some more interviews. I like the uh, questions. And just want to ask for one. What is this? An off-ice event. You're a coach, a tactician. All right, I guess we'll go to practice. You know what? You know what? Optional practice, fine. We'll go this time. One more. Mm -mm. Coach respects you that you showed up. All right, perfect. So plus five again. So we're going to... We're improving our management uh, likability with the coach, so maybe we could get back on the first line. Uh, Sam Gagne is called. Oh, Sam Gagne was injured. That's why he was in 82. That was weird. I just he dropped all of a sudden. Anyways, sim against Toronto. We'll see if we could get a win here. I believe we're at home. And after two, nice. Pedersen gets a goal on Jim Reimer and Perron gets another one. Two nothing still. And this game ends up finishing five nothing. Pedersen with two goals. Pretty good to see there. He's uh, showing up in the Sims as well. And nice five nothing game after quite a bit of losses is always uh, a good to, good sign basically for a team and we're going to see if we would continue this uh, streak against the Detroit Red Wings so I think Pedersen will get the first start we'll get the first start here with two goals might have got an assist on that Hall goal as well uh, and I think he got one assist three stars yeah so two goals one assist three points uh, plus three rating for Miko Pedersen nice to see there and uh, so we need one more assist actually to get to amateur three we already have like the goals but uh Interesting, interesting uh, gameplay now because it, it does become a little bit more challenging and he's not doing too bad on the sim as well. So I think Zetterberg is back. Yeah, from injury. So we're going to be playing against a team with uh, Zetterberg in there for Detroit. But uh, let's see if we could win a game. All right. 1-1-5-0 one, one, and we'll sim this one, the first two periods, and we'll jump into the third period and see if we could get a some goals there but we're gonna go down one nothing in the first it's gonna stay one nothing and we're dominating right now so hopefully we can get a goal here Nico Pedersen kinda wanna change their jerseys to the classic ones but I'll leave it as it was um, 
for this game and uh, I have some plans for this uh, series uh, at the start I don't know if you guys would enjoy it but at the start of the uh, episode maybe I could throw in like a create a GTA online character that looks like Miko Pedersen and I throw him in there let's say he's buying a house he's getting a new car driving around Edmonton and uh, maybe you guys will enjoy that so uh, let me know if you guys want that at the start if you're watching this uh, if you guys want to see that it's kind of reminiscent of uh, AA9 skills how he does it with the Sims character but now I think he does it with GTA I haven't watched his my player in a while but in FIFA 14, but I did see one where he does it, like he where he's walking around GTA with I think Michael. Uh, but anyways, let's see if we can come back here. We're only down one nothing. We have a whole third period to go. We're at home here. Fans are on their feet, and a goal will definitely electrify them. So once again, we're in the game. 41 seconds in. Take this face off. See if we can win it and uh, get some chances for our team. All right, so we win the face off. Nice job there. Shouldn't probably shouldn't have called for it. Come on, Potter, you got me. Oh, that was a terrible pass. And we're going to go offside. All right, that's right. We're back on the bench. Oh, come on, Dallas Eakins. Give me a break. I had, I think I had like only one bar of my energy bar used up. And, well, well sorry, Dallas. Sorry, coach. Sorry for going off at you. We're going to get a goal back. And just like that, it's one-to-one. -one and the crowd uh, still looks a little bit quiet from here. But I can tell in real life they'd probably be pretty bumped up. Get it off, Kindle. Oh, Amazon Kindle. No, I'm just joking. Uh, oh god damn, that was a nice pass by, uh, who was that, number 11, Ablocator? Anyways, we're gonna bring this in, you know what, we're just gonna snipe it. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! I called it, boys. A snipe across, I think that was Jimmy Howard. Uh, no, Gustafson actually net the monster. Not a monster there, because Pedersen gets his 8th of the season. He's starting to get a little bit fired up. We're just gonna walk it in and rocket a shot past Gustafson. What a shot. Defense was suspecting a shot there, but get past the Amazon Kindle there. And uh, a nice goal by Pedersen. Just like that, this game is 2-1. Nice to see uh, Edmonton starting to get a couple goals in that. And uh, especially with Pedersen goals there. I mean, we're up on shots by quite a bit. So we're back out here for another faceoff. I mean, we've won a couple uh, so far in this uh, period. And we're going to see if we win another as we do. And all right, Yakubov, you got me. You got me waiting right here. He's gonna take a shot. He's gonna try to replicate Pedersen there. No, sir, no, you can't do that. Oh, there's nothing more that would satisfy Miko Pedersen growing up a Leaf fan to knock out dang it, uh, Alfredson at this point. But we're gonna sell for night. Oh, I was about to say we're gonna sell for hitting Nyquist. Pedersen, Pedersen. Oh, who was that? Weiss. All right, Alfredson, big hit. Uh, we're just going to shove him for now, but I want to get that hit on Alfredson. They can on boys? Nope. Nice job to take off the puck, though, Pedersen. Brett Pedersen breaking out. Come on, you got me. Feed me. What a move. Across. Oh, who was that? Yakupov, I think. No, that was Peron. Peron, how did you not put that away? Yakupov, I'm trying to make a move. All right, boys. I kind of want to fight Alfredson here, but I know he's not going to want to do that. So instead, we're going to try hitting him instead. All right, boys. Breakout. What a chance. I know we're guys tired, so we're going to have to make some kind of move. What a move. Oh, come back. Cut across. Cut across in front. Howard. Oh, ho, ho. I think Gustafson. Oh, what a chance. All right, let's go off on a line change. Uh, we've been out there for a while. Our guy's dead tired, but a really, really good shift there. We had a couple of chances in front. And uh, so, yeah, let's see, see if we could uh, get another goal here and get go up to uh, two in this game. All right, Nuge, get off. Get the fuck off the ice. Miko Pedersen's coming in. The next prodigy. The next first overall player. Oh, a little bit of a taunting there, but let's see if we can win the face off here and get up in position to uh, wire a clapper. I kind of want to get one of those goals just for the just because how sweet it feels. We're going to wait for him to lay it off to Alfredson. Oh. Dubnik with the save. Nice job there. We're going to pick up this puck and feed it over to Perron. Perron back. Just, no, never mind. Can't do that. Yakupov, you got me behind. You got me set up behind Yakupov. Nyquist, come on. Lay a hit on him. Uh, it's, like an, it's like an OTP player. Just goes against the boards when he's about to get hit. But I mean, I guess we'd probably get a penalty in real life. And we're going to go on the kill. So I think we're on the penalty kill. But we're uh, starting off on the bench here because our guy is a little bit tired. But uh, we should get a little bit of minutes on the penalty kill uh, before the power play ends. And no, actually we don't. So, 7.29 left in this game. We'll see if we get a 
Get another goal and solidify a double our lead. Alright, so coming in here. Oh, pick that buck up. Nice job. Oh god, we got to lay down. Yakbov, just wide, just wide. A big hit on Helm. Nope. Alright boys, hustle back, hustle back. Let's go. We're way out of position. Peron, you got me up here. Here we go. Watch this move, boys. Watch this move. Toe drag back across. Ah, uh, Latandres. Try to hit him. Cleary. I remember I always called Latandres. Let's undress, just as a joke. But, uh, Peron back to Yakubov. Feed it to someone or dump it. Come on, Yakubov. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Alright, time up. Nice job. There we go. In front, Yakubov. In front. Gustafson with the save. And uh, we're going to go back on the bench because our guy is really a little bit tired. You know what? Drop the gloves. Come on. Come on, buddy. Drop the gloves. Uh, he doesn't want any of it. I think that was Nyquist. So we're back on the bench. And uh, stats position score looking good. Team play a little bit off. I guess that's from the turnovers. But uh, hopefully we get a minute yet. We get back on the ice in like about two minutes uh, for our next shift here. Pirani Akbov already out there. So uh, Nuge taking a sweet ass time to get that time on ice. But a big hit. Oh, I was hoping land, let on, let's undress. <laughs> Go a little bit further. But I want to get a big hit here. And can't do that because they almost scored a goal. But Akbov, you got Patterson breaking out. What a terrible pass. But with the speed, a Superman! Oh! <laughs> Imagine if I got that in. A Superman on Live the Life. How funny would that be? Uh, almost had the chance there. Dubnik, nice save. You got to cover. Oh, I didn't even notice I hit the guy. I thought I let go of the pedal. Body checking uh, with the uh, right stick. Smeed, you got me up here. Nice job. All right, boys. That's you. Oh. Oh, wait. 71's coming. We got to cut back. Cut back. Go into Pedersen's office. Pedersen's office. And we just got hit before we can. Over to who was the hall? And we're gonna pick it back up. Okay, nice, uh, nice job by Pedersen so far here to control the play. And Gustafson's gonna pick it up. Oh, a shot to the face for Gustafson. <laughs> uh, I think I pressed the text in, but that's fine. Uh, we'll just sim to my next shift, which I don't know if he'll even come in this game. No, it doesn't because we're gonna win this game two to one. Nice job by our team. Pedersen gets the second of the tying goal, so he doesn't get the game winning goal, but that's alright. Nice to see that our team actually wins another game here against the Detroit Red Wings. So we're going to quit the current game, and uh, Edmonton's starting to heat up. They won two in a row at home, and that's very, very nice to see. If you guys want any changes, by the way, to this uh, Live the Life series, feel like it's too long, or should I play less games, or sim more, just let me know in the comments. I really do appreciate it. I, I felt like the commentary, I mean the uh, suggestions in the last episode were pretty pretty positive in terms of what I, how I uh, set up the episode. So uh, that's at least very good, to, very good to hear from you guys. want to thank you for that. But uh, trying to cover the time here with the sims that take a little bit longer. But we're going to sim... Uh, I'm going to sim the games against uh, Washington. I mean, it was Florida and Tampa. I mean, I guess we could leave Flyers to the next episode. But we'll see how we do there if we can get a couple goals. I mean, the episodes are a little bit longer, but, I mean, live comms uh, do tend to take a little bit longer than, uh, like, five minutes. So, we're going to sim this game, first period, and we're down 2-1. Have with a goal here. Second period, Hall gets one back. And third period, we actually end up winning that one. 4-3, so another win for the Edmonton Oilers here on the road in Florida against the Panthers and uh, Taylor Hall ends up getting two goals I wonder if Pedersen got an assist on any of those uh, might have been on the power play on that second goal I'm not too sure though but I'm guessing Pedersen probably finished with zero points but a win is a win nonetheless so that's good to see Pedersen yeah no no points that's fine though he'll take a uh, Pedersen's a team player he'll take a win over him over uh, his stats but his stats are kind of important to him uh, due to, you could tell by the number of shots he takes, but he's starting to, I guess, get a little bit better. But the Oilers are back at 500, eight and eight, and a nice win here against the Tampa Bay Lightning could put them over that. So let's hope the Oilers could pull off a win here on the road, and they're gonna go down one. I think the first, they're gonna Gagne's gonna get a goal back in the second, but in the third, it's Purcell and Johnson get a goals against La Barbera and at there. So three one loss, but that's all right. We'll uh, we'll head to the we got a. Three wins back there in a row. So we'll take a look at the stats and we'll see how uh, Miguel Petters is doing so far. I think he's got eight goals, if I'm not mistaken, so far this year. So that's uh, good to see that he's starting to get a little bit better. And uh, we'll take a look at the stats. 
and we'll jump into the next episode against Philadelphia or some other teams. But 8-9, and nine, not the best start. They could be doing a little bit better. Uh, but Philadelphia, Chicago will probably play. I want to play San Jose. Uh, Battle of Alberta. Uh, that will be tough choices. I think I'm going to set the next episode to Chicago, Calgary, and Columbus. we got to play the game against Columbus, boys. And another one here against Alexi Vaino. Oh, that, that game is going to be very interesting to see. So anyways... Take a look at the player stats here in Edmonton. Pedersen, I think, might be leading the team in goals. I'm not too sure there, but Hall looks like he's a... Oh yeah, Hall's leading the team in goals. But, uh, yeah, Pedersen up there. 13 points, 17 games now. Gagne looking good. Perron doing very, very well on that second line with uh, Pedersen. Hall with 11 goals, though, so that's uh, good for him. Pelly minutes, we probably lead our team. Yep, ahead of Andrew Ferentz. Plus one, so we got a little bit better. Three-game winning goals, though, for Pedersen. Uh, shooting percentage is a little low. Faceoff is really high, but take a look at Columbus, how Vigno is doing. And Columbus not doing too good this year, but Vigno is leading the team in points with 6 goals and 4 assists for 10 points in 15 games. Nice to see Vigno doing well. Uh, minus 4 though, and 2 game winning goals, 10.53 shooting percentage, and his faceoffs are at 61.92, so uh, pretty good there. Let's take a look at the NHL in general. And face-off percentage, and all these guys are 100, but in terms of like guys who actually take face-offs, it, the best ones like Cavalier, but up there is Vigno. Yeah, Alexi Vigno up there. So let's take a look who's doing the best in terms of the league in uh, points. And it's Rick Nash with 24 points in 16 games. Holy crap, is he tearing it up. Then gets Laff right behind him with 24 points as well in 16 games. So uh, Pedersen has, I think, 11 points. So not even, not really close at all in terms of um, the season. But he's, he should be up there in goals. I mean, 8, he's not too bad. I mean, 11's a lead. So he's up there. And rookie skaters, I guess they're considered rookies, but they shouldn't be. In terms of points, Pedersen up there and Vigno right behind him. But anyways, that will wrap up episode number three of Miko Pedersen Live the Life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. I would appreciate it. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.